Hello children, hope you are all safe at home. Today we are dealing with lesson 4 in our science sorting materials into groups. In this lesson we are going to discuss about objects around us, materials around us, grouping and sorting of materials, basis of classification and properties of materials. Objects around us. Look around you. You can see many things like table, chair, your laptop, your wardrobe with full of clothes, isn't it? All these things are nothing but objects. And all these objects are made of one or more types of materials. Some commonly used materials are wood, plastic, glass, etc. Isn't it? All these objects have different shapes, color and properties. What are the various objects made of? All things are made of one or more materials or substances. For example, a measuring scale is made of plastic, wood or steel. Isn't it? Thus, here plastic, wood, steel are materials. If you take another example like fried rice. Fried rice is made by rice, water, vegetables, spices, etc. Here, rice, water, spices, vegetables are nothing but materials. Isn't it? Now, the next point is a material can be used to make different kinds of things. For example, glass can be used to make tumblers, bowls, mirrors, window panes, etc. Third point, same things can be made from different kinds of materials also. For example, a tumbler can be made from steel, glass, plastic, thermocol and porcelain. Now, materials can be naturally occurring or man-made. What are the naturally occurring materials? Materials like wood, cotton, jute, etc. are naturally occurring materials. Now can you give me some examples of naturally occurring materials dears? Yes, wood, cotton, jute, etc. are naturally occurring materials. Now materials like glass, steel, thermocol, plastic, polyester, etc. are man-made materials. There are some common characteristics of materials. All materials can be felt by one or more of our senses. That means we can easily feel and identify materials by touching, smelling, seeing or feeling them. For example, we cannot see air but we can feel it on our skin. We can smell a perfume even from a distance. Isn't it? Yes. Cotton is soft to touch whereas stone is hard. So from this we can easily identify materials by touching, smelling, seeing or feeling them. Isn't it? Now the next characteristic is all materials occupy space. A bush placed on a bush shelf occupies space in that bush shelf. Water in a tumbler occupies space in the tumbler. Isn't it? Yes. Now the third characteristic is all materials possess mass. All things contain one or more kinds of materials. Isn't it? The amount of matter in any object is called its mass. So all materials possess mass. So what are the three common characteristics of materials dears? All materials can be felt by one or more of our senses. The second one is all materials occupy space. The third one is all materials possess mass. Now, materials or substances can be classified on the basis of their properties. Here are some properties of materials. Appearance, solubility in water, flotation, transparency and physical state. 
The first one is physical state. All materials can or substances can be classified as solids, liquids and gases. For example, materials like plastics, stones, common salt, wood, glass, steel, sand, ice, etc. comes under solids. Whereas water, milk, oil, etc. are liquids. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, steam or water vapor etc. are gases. So from this all we can easily classify various materials as solids, liquids or gases. Appearance. Appearance of any material can be described in terms of any one or more of these properties like color, luster, texture and hardness. Color. Natural materials have their own characteristic color. For example, gold is in golden yellow, copper is in reddish brown, silver is in white in color whereas iron, lead, zinc are grayish in color. So all natural materials have their own characteristic color. Now coming to the man-made materials can be given any color of our choice. Another important property in appearance is luster. All metals are shiny. The characteristic shine of metals is called metallic luster. For example, materials like gold, silver are lustrous. Some materials like wood do not shine. It comes under non-lustrous. Next property is texture. Certain materials are smooth whereas some others are rough to touch. For example, flower petals, silk cloth, glass are smooth to touch. When it comes to tree bark, sandpaper, unfinished wall are rough to touch. The next property is hardness. Hardness is another property of materials. Some materials are very hard whereas some others are soft. Materials which can be compressed easily are referred as soft material. For example, cotton. Materials which cannot be comp compressed are referred as hard material. For example, iron. Do you know children which is the hardest material? Yes, diamond is the hardest known material. Diamond can cut even glass. Certain materials are soft. Certain soft solids can be easily powdered just by pressing. For example, chalk is a soft material. Cotton is so soft because it traps a lot of air in it. Now, so under appearance, what are the four properties dis uh, we discussed children? The first one is color. The next one is luster texture and the last one is hardness. So, so, so far we discussed about common characteristics of materials and what are the objects, various objects made of and we discussed few properties like um, physical state, appearance, under appearance we discussed about color, texture, luster and hardness. Thank you.